From the beautiful campus of Casper College, it's time to dive into the world of Casper College Athletics with another episode of the Casper College Coaches Show. Now, here's your host, Tom Myler. Hello, T-Bird fans, and as usual, welcome back to, guess what? A fantastic show because just like with men's soccer, we've got some great news. We're going to be in the Region 9 tournament as... Number one. Number one seed. That's it. Well done. Well <laughs> done. You. Yes, we did have some volleyball gods shining upon us with a little help from some other teams, but we locked in the number one seed. We I did. Mean, it doesn't mean a whole lot, but we still got that number one seed, kind of some yeah. boasting we can talk about. We're going to make... Yeah. I feel good about it. You should feel good about it. The players should feel good about it. Awesome. It comes from hard work. Let's talk about how we got that number one seed, shall Absolutely. we? It all comes from last weekend. You had two teams and all at home. It was great. Both home. Eastern Wyoming and LCCC. Let's start with that Eastern Wyoming game. Eastern Wyoming, yeah. We came out strong in the uh, middle of the first set. We kind of laid back down, oh. and they came back, and then we had to fight back and forth. Lost the first set, 25-23, and then uh, we had to take care of business the next three sets, So, which we did. Uh, which was nice to see, and, and uh, then it put us in a chance to, to win uh, our region or tie uh, for first place against El Trip. That's right. So you beat Eastern 3-1, yeah, to one, which you had to in order to even have a chance, right, right, to get number one. And then you go into El Triple C, or sorry, they come here, you play them. And honestly, kind of a surprising 3-0 sweep... <laughs> Of L Triple, a really good L Triple C team. Yeah. Let's talk. What just what went right for this to happen? Um, one, we passed well. I thought ah. we passed probably one of the better games or matches that we've had all year, and so we definitely that was the key for us because we did not pass well over there at all, uh, and then our hitting errors were way way down. I think we even cut them in half. So I think that, and then we served aggressive at him. Uh, we blocked well in the third and second set. Um, and we, the thing is, is that we had to beat them in three because they beat us in four. Uh, if we would have won, and when we won, uh, we would have been tied, both being 9-2. And so we had to win in three mm -hmm. to get the tiebreaker. And sure enough, you managed to pull it off. How, what was the reaction after the, the game? Uh, it was actually exciting. I walked into the locker room and I was going to soak him with water because I had two water bottles <laughs> and I was walked through the door and was ready to do that. Well, they uh, got me instead. Oh. So I was, I was drenched, but I got them as well. So we had a little bit of a water fight in the locker room. Um, and then they knew since we beat them in three that we were number one seed. I didn't want to tell them that at first, but they knew. Um, so, which was, it's just a great feeling and, and it's great to see the smiles on their face. It is an absolute great feeling. And I, I would say that that was probably them thinking, hey, if we win this, we get that number one seed. We kind of have that little extra mark on us saying, hey, we're tough. We know that. And I, this is a good team it, they when are. we're consistent. Very. <laughs> they, they're, they're scary when, when they put it all together. They're, they're scary, but they're also fun to watch. And so, we just we have to be consistent and pass well, serve well, work as a team for four days or three days, hopefully. Yeah, and it's who three knew? So days. looking at that schedule uh, with this tournament coming up, that's it's all it's one game a day. Is yep, that correct? That one is game correct. a day, starting on Wednesday, goes through Saturday. Wednesday's at five o'clock against Trinidad. Trinidad. So. What, what are we looking at here? We played Trinidad in a tournament uh, midway through the season in uh, Eastern. Uh, so we beat them 3-0, but they were 25-22, 25-20. So it's right there. I watched film on them. They, they played uh, NJC, which is number two in the nation. Mm -hmm. They oh. took them to five uh, at their place this last weekend. So... You know, just because you beat somebody in three, this is a, everybody's zero, zero at this tournament and everybody just wants to get you. And, and plus we have a little bit of a, something on our back because they put us at 17th ranked in the nation. That's so right. everybody's gonna be 
after us and, and NJC. So um, we're just going to have to play strong and, and again, not look past them, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. So what then are you telling your players at practice? So all we really did is we had one practice on uh, yesterday, uh, and then they'll have a, a little bit of practice today because then we're on the road. Um, and so, again, we're just doing what we can control, and that's what we can control what we do. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to try to, again, we'll have a little bit of a game plan against uh, Trinidad. But, uh, again, you know, if we can control how we pass, we can control how we block, then... Um, and how we our energy is and, and how we want to play defense, we can control that. And so, again, we're just going to focus on the process that got us here, and hopefully that will be enough. So how does that quick turnaround? So you've had roughly, or you're going to have three, four days of from when you finished your game on Saturday against L Triple C, kind of have that elation here, and now you're turning around, okay, hey, we're all zero and zero. What, how does that affect the team right now? I, you know, I don't think it affects us too much. I think, you know, they're still on a high a little bit, which is great to have. Um, I just don't want them to get into a, a – I'm glad we don't have a week where we, they're, like, mm. kind of get down and be like, oh, we're just practicing, going through the motion again. So I kind of like the quick turnaround just because we, we're still on that high and they still have that energy and that still they have that hunger of what we want to accomplish. So I think it's great to have, you know, one and a half practices that we have because, again – there's nothing new that we're putting in. There's nothing, you know, if we don't know it by now, we, we don't know it. So uh, we're just trying to, to just fix a little tweaks here or there. But I think, you know, we just focus on what we need to take care of. That sounds excellent to me. And so with Trinidad, I mean, we've already talked a little bit. There's, you beat them 3-0 the, during the regular season at, yeah. at a tournament at Eastern. Um, who would you say, or who would you say is their probably the most dangerous? Well, player? you know, I think their, their setter's really good. Um, she's an international kid. She's left-handed, so she likes to be an offensive threat. So you have to definitely watch her. They have a great middle, um, tall, uh, pretty quick young lady, and so um, we're going to have to to stop her. And then they have an outside that uh, has a little bit of a, a different kind of swing. So. We adjusted on her really well, and so, but again, she's getting better um, uh, throughout the year. So I think those three, if we can stop those three consistently, um, serve aggressive at them, uh, I think we, we can take control of that match. Awesome. And so you've actually mentioned serve aggressive a couple of times now, and even in previous coaches' show. When you say serve aggressive, what, what do you mean serve aggressive? Well, I mean, you could just serve and get the ball in the bound, in bounds. And, and again, if they pass a perfect ball, then they're always going to be in system. And you want the other team to be out of system most of the, most of the time. And so we want to serve aggressive at them. So you, there might be some teams or some players on the other side that don't pass well to their right or they have bad communication between these two. And so we try to serve to the seam or pass to their left that they don't like to do. Um, if they have an outside that passes, then we try to take her out of her flow to be a hitter. Um, and so those are, that's what I kind of mean by serving okay. aggressive. But at the same time, that's when you get your service errors because we want a fast, flat ball instead of just a lollipop, get it in kind of a serve. I think you need to put me in, Coach. I kind of I kind of <laughs> punch the ball so it looks well, like a knuckleball okay. coming at you. And, you know, from what I've you been know? told, you know, they're kind of hard to... Well, if, if they move, that's a, that's a great serve. Oh, All right, I'm ready. I'm, so um, if it's a top spin, they just stay and drop. So those are the how, easiest ones. I don't know how, how good I'll look in spandex, but uh, shave the legs. I think, <laughs> have, I'll go shave my legs. Spray tan? Yeah, Can I that'd get a spray be, tan yeah. before? That, that would be helpful. Yeah. I don't want to be pasty no, no. ghost like. No. I mean, it's Halloween, so I could, I could fit in. Could. So just say I'm a ghost. Yeah. So it's down in Sterling, Correct. Colorado. NJC is hosting the South since they're number, three, number one seed in the South. How does the team travel? Mine? Yeah. Um, they actually do very well. I mean, there's times where they're real energetic and they'll have music on and sing and dance, or they sleep. So when they sing and dance, I put my earphones in and uh, read a book or do other things. And when they sleep, then I watch some game film or whatever. So. Um, either way, they have a great time, and um, they do really well. And again, this team has been 
very united, and I think that's been very good for us on our success. I mean, it's the the number one seed. The record shows for itself that I mean, when you're all going on one, grind the gears are grinding and everything <laughs> going together. It really shows that you are yeah. a, a team to be reckoned with. That's for sure. It is, and and yesterday I was taping them yesterday, and and I had somebody asked if we were ranked, and and I didn't say anything because I didn't want our players to know because I feel like that just puts extra pressure on us, and so. I didn't say anything, and then of course the girls got on their cell phones, and and then they're like their face and their reactions were. The the training room got a little loud, so um, I think that was a good, know, good excitement. When was the last time you had a team ranked in the top twenty? Um, it's been a couple of years. I think two years ago we we've, we've been in there, okay. but um, it's been a little while. Hey, well, it's got to still feel good and. So last question for you. So going into this Trinidad game, who do you need or what does the team need to do specifically to really, if they do this, it's going to be a guaranteed win. Oof. <laughs> oh, okay. So if they do this, you're more likely to win. Okay, there you go. Um, you know, again, I, I just think if we cut our, our hitting errors, if we don't make the mistakes, the easy mistakes, um, ball control, I think, is, is huge for us. Our hitting errors, we need to make sure those are low, and then passing well. I think if those three things, um, I think we have a pretty good shot if, if we cut those three things down to single-digit errors. Got it. So no point zero eight hitting percentage. For sure not. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we won't win anything against that. <laughs> All right. We are excited. Obviously, this has been a fun coach show because we're all excited for how things turned out. Number yeah. one seed, going into tournament play. It's going to be great. We've got high hopes. Coach. I, got, I, I got the chills Oof. for all Halloween. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, it's bootacular. There you go. However you want to say it. Nice. But fans, uh, will it be live streamed? It will be live streamed. It's on NJC. It's on YouTube, NJC um, Athletics. All right, and more than likely, if you are subscribed to our athletics email list, you will get a link to that live stream. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. That will come more than likely tomorrow since that's when you start yep, playing. For sure. Thank you, Coach, for coming in. Thank and you. T-Bird fans, we'll see you next time.